<laughs> Viva La Vegan! Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net and welcome to this week's question and answer. It's part of our series you can find here every Tuesday on our YouTube channel. This week it is, how can I organize a vegan event? I love organizing events and I've done it for quite a few years. Um, I think the basics are, what sort of event do you want to do? Is it going to be free? Is it going to be a paid event? What are your aims? Do you want to educate people? Do you want to hand out free food? What do you want to do? What is your target audience? For example, vegans or non-vegans? I would suggest that you target it to mainstream non-vegans. What can you do and what are your strengths? What are the things you enjoy doing? Do you like giving talks? Do you like baking? Do you like socializing with people? And what do you need from others? When you work out the things that you like to do and the things that you want to do, then you need to work out the things that you'll need from other people, like other skills that you're lacking. And then from this, you can work out whether you want to pay these people or whether they'll be volunteers. Work out um, a specific day that you can hold this event that relates around an already existing time of year. For example, Worldwide Vegan Bake Sale or World Vegan Day that's about to happen in November. From there you can work out a timeline. This is what I want to do and this is what will happen when it's achieved. And all those steps in between lead to the end result. So how do you get from here to here? Do like plot something down and write all the things you want to do and the things that you need people to do. I find it's always really good if you can write things down and visualize. I gave a um, talk, a workshop in the States called Staging Effective Events and Engaging Volunteers and I'll share the link for my handout below and you can also see the video of the workshop that I gave. That will give you a hell of a lot more information. Um, you need to work out what you need. Do you need tables? Do you need chairs? Do you need a stage? What's the venue going to be? What sort of transportation is available for people to get there? Is it going to be easy for people to get there or not? You might need licenses. If you're um, having an event, most people need public liability insurance now and that's quite expensive. You might need security and you probably, if you're going to be serving food, you'll need food handling licenses. Promoting a venue and promoting an event is really, really important too. Like they say online, if you create or you write an article or a blog or a book, you know, that's 20% of the work. The other work is the 80% of actually promoting it. And really that's quite true also with events. Though keep in mind events uh, take a hell of a lot of time to organize and to do properly. So um, work out what sort of promotion you want to do, word of mouth and a lot online, paid advertising, free advertising, do some interviews with as many people as you can and you need to get people involved. One of the ways I did this, I put on two successful vegan, um, all vegan environmental festivals in Brisbane, Australia in 2010, 2011 and one way we did this was get volunteers on board and it was to create a community where everyone's voice was heard. So I'd really suggest that you do this. And keep in mind that the best, the best events, you need at least six months to plan them properly. Now, I have a book about my not-for-profit Green Earth Group that I used to run and we put on those festivals. Um, it's about history and it's a free 200 plus page ebook that you can download on my sales account. I'll share the link down below. And you can see more about the festivals I put on and all the various events that I did, vegan events. We had bake sales, we had nutrition events, video viewings, um, panels and screenings and letter writing events. There was a hell of a lot of different stuff that we did just to target different um, areas of mainstream people. I'll share those links below. If you have any questions, let me know and I hope you learned something from all of that content that I've produced over the past few years. And let me know what sort of event you want to do and when it happens. And I hope to see you here next week when we talk about is a vegan diet safe for pregnancy? See you on vivalavegan.net and online. Thank you.